how to create your green cleaning and home maintenance products website for free using squarespace.com hey guys welcome to this new video in today's video i'm going to show you how you can create your own website for free using this platform so let's get started by clicking on the get started button and it will take us to the templates page where we can choose a template that we are going to work on to build our own website so here we can filter by the type if it's an online store which is obviously an online store for us in this case and then we will choose by or filter by topic if it's about art and design or photography or home maintenance products as we have in our case so let's search for home so here it is home and decor so i hope we find a good match in this platform so this is a good template for us i think this one will help us a lot in building our own template or website and this is the blank template for those who love to build their website from scratch so this template is a blank one you have nothing in it if you want to build your own website from scratch i think i'm going to use this one it's it's the candy template so i'm going to click on preview candy to check the template click on view demo site and then you will be able to scroll down to see if you like this one so i think i'm going to use this template so just close this tab and click on start with this design and you wait for them to set things up for you then they will request to type in a title for your website so it's not necessary you can always close this tab but for me i'm going to type in my title which is pretty much the name of my niche green cleaning and home maintenance products just to organize my websites because you can create multiple websites with this platform so here we have in our list a lot of sections that i'm going to explain each one of them right now so i'm going to start with website just click on it and as you can see we have some pages and it's basically where we can add new pages by this plus button or change the ones that we already have or delete them if you don't like them anymore and that's it in this section then we have the commerce section it's where you can manage your orders inventory customers and discounts you can also add new products to your inventory and set up the ways that to get that you want to get paid with and also choose a subscription plan if you want to start selling with your store and you can also change the ways to sell if you want to sell by memberships or project management or custom merch or if you want to change the sales channels products on facebook and instagram or google shopping so you can pretty much do all that in that section then we have the marketing section which is pretty obvious just from the name it's all everything that is related to growing your audience from the email campaigns the profiles to the CEO appearance the promotional pop-up to the announcement bar and the pixels and ads and so on and the next one is scheduling and it's for cre creating your own calendar to offer your audience or your clients to book appointments with you or meetings then we have the asset library it's where you save your files or your images to use them while you're designing your website you can pretty much just drag and drop files and they will be saved in here then we have the analytics it's where you can see all of your data from the sales to traffic to geography to the revenue units sold orders conversion rate eov and rpv 
and so on then we have the profiles it's where you can check your clients profiles you can adjust them or change them or delete some of your clients profiles then we have the settings it's where you can set your domains or your google workspace or you can also change the site's availability from private to public also you can change the site's languages or also you can import and export content if you want to migrate from a platform to another one if you have a website hosted in another platform and you want to move on to squarespace this is where you can go just click on import and export content and you will be able to import your own website to this platform and here you have the sites promotion and the blog preferences you have also the social links and the browser icon so this one is where you upload your icon and it will show up right in here like this cube in this in this here that's where your where your browser icon show if you upload it and here you have the store payments if you want to set up your payment processors like connecting your stripe account or connecting your paypal or your square if you are from the united states only you can also change the store's currency from this button from the united states dollar to another currency you prefer so that's it with the settings let's go back home and let's proceed to the editing phase by clicking on this button this page will expand to give you more control and more site to adjust your template so here you can change the site's header by clicking on this button and by scrolling down to the bottom you can also change the footer and everything in between them starting from sections texts or blocks as you can see you can change the block duplicate it remove it or add new one to text or headlines to the story also you can change all of this so you can pretty much change everything in this platform and also you can change the styles from this button you can change the fonts colors animations and spacing and the button the buttons shape so that's it for today's video guys i just wanted to give you an idea about this platform i hope i accomplished that so leave us a like and subscribe to our channel and share the video with your friends if you find this video useful